Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and today we've got a very special custom authentic 1937 Martin for you. Now, this features a really, really lovely Adirondack top on it, with some of that nice wide grain, which I feel is the better sounding Adirondack. It's not as stiff towards the outside, um, and it it just, it sounds phenomenal. Um, now, being authentic, it does have the mahogany back and sides. No purfling, just binding around the back and sides, but it does have a little um, white, black, white, black purfling around the face. Now, very stripped back rosette, um, ebony bridge with a saddle through bone saddle here but it's wider here. It's actually, um, it's two and five sixteenths or 2.32. So it's, it's really great for finger style or if you've got a wider gate with your flat picking, um, it allows for really great precision. Now it does have a V profile mahogany neck to it, um, but surprise. It's also wider here. So it's actually 1.77 here at the nut width. Um, and just in my hands, it feels very finger style friendly. I like those kind of wider specs. Now, ebony fretboard with abalone dots. Um, and oddly enough, this fifth fret has a, a much larger dot than the rest of them. Now, as you get into the head cap, it's just got a, a mahogany head cap with the old style kind of amber gold Martin logo there. Um, and these Waverly inspired tuners that have the Martin logo on the back of them. Now, this does have that authentic 37 bracing and it sounds a little different than most of the dreads that I play. It's a little drier, but it's got a lot of immediate punch, which I think is just phenomenal for flat picking or just really quick runs. It doesn't kind of get a little too washed. It's very note forward, um, but it still has sustain. So it's not short lived. Now, if you've got any other further questions about this very special authentic 1937 Martin, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com and thanks for listening.